I love the cannon. Oh, look, there's a guy. Are you fucking red? No! I'm sorry, Josh. Alright, it's time to start digging into everyone's favorite, the two-handed swords. In this episode, we'll cover the long sword and the astok. Don't worry, I know there's still more swords than that. I'm just getting them polished up and ready for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's the long sword and the astok. Pick it up. Let's see what you're made of. His hand is hurt, my lord. I once fought two days with an arrow through my testicle. The longsword is an iconic weapon of the Age of Chivalry. It's the 1911 of the 15th century. I started blasting. Bah! Bah! Oh, I don't see so good, so I missed. Just like the battle axe, the longsword is a well-balanced blade suited for beginners and veterans alike. Its powerful swings hit hard and fast, with plenty of reach to make anyone hesitant to get too close. Wow! The longsword is worth every point it costs to equip. It's easy to chop through peasants and naked foes with one blow. You can two-shot anyone in medium armor with its swings, and when it comes to stabbing, the longsword still boasts some hefty numbers. It only takes two stabs to the face to kill a medium armored head. As for the alt mode, Blade isn't the only part of a sword. Flipping the longsword upside down turns it into a mace, with the same length and damage tables. So if you come up against the metal boy and you want to crush his skull, just hit R and flip the sword around. I think I made him shit himself. Good lord, this guy shit himself big time. <laughs> see, I told you I made him shit himself. <laughs> All right, if you see somebody playing as a default knight, then most likely they're a new player. Or just new to the weapon and they want to try it out. They're usually really fun to pick on. And when you hear them start screaming, that's your cue to know you can back up and just watch them flop around all over the place. But keep your guard up. Some high level players like to cosplay as the default newbies, and they will push your shit in. That was funny! <laughs> the longsword is just good all around. It's the perfect length for combating mounted foes. And it's great for group fights, cleaving through multiple targets at once. He shoots! He scores! Lastly, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the pommel and the secret achievement in this game. If you didn't already know, you can unscrew the pommel of your sword and throw it at your enemy for a little bit of extra disrespect and one damage. Alright, the Astok, the Spear Sword, Espada de Matar Toros, or as we all know him, Needle Dick. Needle Dick! Needle Dick! Yeah! Your name is Needle Dick. The Astok is what happens when you mix the long sword with a rapier. It's basically a two-handed toothpick. 
Most people will usually mistake it for a longsword at first glance, but there's no edge to this blade. The main use for the Estoc is for stabbing. So, there's a few things you can expect when fighting someone with an Estoc. They're gonna try and fake you out with a stab morph or a feint. They'll probably gamble, and at best they'll turn it into a stab chamber. And they can chamber over and over and over and over if they really know what they're doing. Take a seat there, my friend. You'll be in the afterlife soon. See you in hell. And lastly, they'll try and poke your eye out any chance they get. He poked me in the eye! Captain Insano shows no mercy. The stock is like the evolved form of the rapier. Poke it, boy. Rapier! It's it stock. Fuck! The Astok stabs do a ton of damage against all but the heaviest armor. It can two shot a level 3 helmet or a medium armored chest. Its only real shortcoming is its pitiful swing damage. It might not have an edge, but you can still two shot a level 1 helmet. It's about the same effect as hitting someone over the head with a stick of a rebar. Speaking of clubbing people to death, the Estoc has an alt mode similar to the longsword. Flipping it upside down, turning it into a mace, so you can club people when you get tired of stabbing them like a human sewing machine. So I was trying hard to think of ways to meme on the Estoc. And then I came across this post, and this guy kind of did it for me. The Estoc is disgusting! This thing is so cheesy I don't think anything else can compare! It's genuinely worse than a rapier! You can just click people away in front lines, but that's nowhere near as bad as what this thing becomes when used on a horse! It can be used as a couch lance and it's insane! It's far superior to the spear because of the ready up time and kill zoning! The spear takes a while to ready up and is awkward due to its length! The stock, while having less range, readies up almost instantly! Stabbing stabs destroys pretty much anyone and the damage really catches them off guard! Headshots are really easy to hit and you can to tap pretty much anyone! I have even gotten multiple kills in single stabs! This thing is insane! I don't use the horses in this game too much, but I can't skip over the fact that this stock is the only sword that can be couched on a horse. I like the stock. It reminds me a lot of playing with all the pole arms. It's fun to poke everybody and jump around like a spaz. So for me, S stock is best stock. Okay, that's two down, six to go. Leave a comment below for the swords you want to see covered next. And if there's something I missed or a stereotype you have for these swords, leave that down there as well. If you made it this far into the video, you're pretty awesome. And if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Later. Team Rocket's <laughs> the fuck hit you?